I'm going to tell you about something that is very simple, but very difficult to perform. I'm going to talk to you about not doing, in spite of the fact there is no way to talk about it, because it's the body that does it. Don Juan looked around and then pointed to a large rock. That rock over there is a rock because of doing. I had to say I didn't understand what he meant. Doing is what makes that rock a rock and that bush a bush. Doing is what makes you yourself and me myself. I told him that his explanation didn't explain anything. He laughed and scratched his temples. That's the problem with talking. It always makes one confuse the issues. If one starts talking about doing, one always ends up talking about something else. It is better just to act. Take that rock for instance. To look at it is doing, but to see it is not doing. I had to confess that his words were not making sense to me. Oh yes they do, but you are convinced they don't because that is your doing. That's the way you act toward me and the world. He again pointed to the rock. That rock is a rock because of all the things you know how to do to it. A warrior knows that the rock is a rock only because of doing. So if he doesn't want the rock to be a rock, all he has to do is not doing. The world is the world because you know the doing involved in making it so. If you didn't know it's doing, the world would be different. He went on explaining that without that certain doing, there would be nothing familiar in the surroundings. He leaned over and picked up a small rock between the thumb and index finger of his left hand and held it in front of my eyes. This is a pebble because you know the doing involved in making it a pebble. I say that you are making this into a pebble because you know the doing involved in it. Now, in order to stop the world, you must stop doing. In the case of this pebble, the first thing which doing does is to shrink it to this size. So the proper thing to do, which a warrior does if he wants to stop the world, is to enlarge a pebble or any other thing by not doing. He stood up and placed the pebble on a boulder and then asked me to come closer and examine it. He told me to look at the holes and depressions in the pebble and try to pick out the minute details in them. He said that if I could pick out the detail, the holes and depressions would disappear and I would understand what not doing meant. This damn pebble is going to drive you crazy today. I must have had a look of bewilderment on my face. He looked at me and laughed uproariously. Then he pretended to get angry with the pebble and hit it two or three times with his hat. I urged him to clarify his point. I argued that it was possible for him to explain anything if he wanted to, if he really made an effort. He gave me a sly glance and shook his head as if the situation were hopeless. Sure, I can explain anything, but could you understand it? Doing makes you separate the pebble from the larger boulder. If you want to learn not doing, let's say you have to join them. He pointed to the small shadow that the pebble cast on the boulder and said that it was not a shadow but a glue which bound them together. He then turned around and walked away, saying he was coming back later to check on me. I stared at the pebble for a long time. I could not focus my attention on the minute detail in the holes and depressions, but the tiny shadow that the pebble cast on the boulder became a most interesting point. Don Juan was right. It was like a glue. It moved and shifted. I had the impression it was being squeezed from underneath the pebble. When Don Juan returned, I related to him what I observed about the shadow. That's a good beginning. A warrior can tell all kinds of things from the shadows. He then suggested I should take the pebble and bury it somewhere. Why should I do that, Don Juan? You've been watching it for a long time. It has something of you now. A warrior always tries to affect the force of doing by changing it into not doing. Doing would be to leave that pebble lying around because it is merely a small rock. Not doing would be to proceed with that pebble as if it were something far beyond a mere rock. In this case, that pebble has soaked you in for a long time, and now it is you, and as such, you cannot leave it lying around but must bury it. If you would have personal power, however, not doing would be to change that pebble into a power object. Can I do that now? Your life is not tight enough to do that. If you would see, you would know that your heavy concern has changed that pebble into something quite unappealing. Therefore, the best thing you can do is to dig a hole and bury it and let the earth absorb its heaviness. Is all this true, Don Juan? 
To say yes or no to your question is a doing, but since you are learning not doing, I have to tell you that it really doesn't matter whether or not all this is true. It is here that a warrior has a point of advantage over the average man. An average man cares that things are either true or false, but a warrior doesn't. An average man proceeds in a specific way with things that he knows are true and in a different way with things he knows are not true. If things are said to be true, he acts and believes in what he does. But if things are said to be untrue, he doesn't care to act or he doesn't believe in what he does. A warrior, on the other hand, acts in both instances. If things are said to be true, he would act in order to be doing. If things are said to be untrue, he would still act in order to be not doing.